receiving this very rare sculpture from Canada's East Coast. It's a bas relief within a box with a frame on the front. So it's quite rare and it's unusual. Unfortunately, when it arrived by courier, the back had been more severely damaged. You can see the huge cracks on some of the back, uh, but we're gonna be able to fix all of that. It's even a bit hard to see through the glass because it is quite tarnished, but we're gonna clean that off. We're gonna dismantle this and we're gonna take you through the stages step by step as we do a complete restoration. The first step is to carefully dismantle the box and the frame, avoiding even further breakage to the sculpted plaster inside. Removing the electrical wire hanger and the rusted straps holding the whole display together. With the glass and frame now removed, I'm going to take out each of the pieces of the original sculpture and using an epoxy, I'll put them back together as best I can and that will help me figure out where there are blanks to be filled in with new plaster. So as we've begun the process of gluing back some of the existing pieces to see what we're left with, we've also removed all of these pieces from the original box inside the frame, which in itself is going to require a fair amount of work. With the measured use of quick bond and epoxy and quick dry plaster, we've now secured some of the pieces back and we've just put on a layer here of epoxy to keep it strong and hold everything in its correct position. You can see some of the pieces now coming back together. I've done a little bit of the early uh, plastering in the crack line and the reconstruction continues. Mixing small batches of hydrocal plaster, depending on the opening size, will use either a syringe or a sculpting tool to fill the gaps in the broken corners with fresh plaster. Underneath this area had crumbled and required a larger patch of plaster, then smoothing over before sanding by hand. Then a second thin layer and examining for any cracks or joints that might still be evident. This piece looks good to go and ready to reattach. It's interesting to find some old newspaper clippings. These are from the Halifax Herald, and unfortunately, we were not able to spot a date on them, but we know they're pretty old. So this old piece of newspaper is plastered on to the back, literally. It was held in place to hold some of the plaster repairs from some years ago. These white spots from the cross section are not from our current work. Someone has previously repaired this statuary. What we've done is we've put together the pieces we showed you earlier, and we are Plastering, that's the first part of the plastering stage. We'll still do some fine tuning, but now we're placing in the last piece of the box structure. And once that is glued in place and then replastered around the edges, we will fix the starburst. And then we will start to look at restoration of the fine artistry to bring this piece back to its glory. The challenge in painting is to rejuvenate the colors, but staying with a palette that reflects the characteristics of the sculpture. Colors of the jewelry adorn the infant Jesus, which is the focal point of this piece. The magnifier helps me get the minute details right. Here I've moved on to the skin tones, and along with the fine gold trim, I refresh the appearance of the walls and the stained glass window, and the entire background. A steady hand is in order to get into some of the tighter spots such as the gold adornments of the altar. And the hand-painted expressive lines are all part of preserving this unique and beautiful piece. We're now in the final stages of the reconstruction and restoration of this beautiful and unique piece where the areas that are visible, we've hidden all of the reconstruction areas and the lines that you can see. On the back, however, you'll spot the heavy epoxy that we've added, a small bit of plaster, and it's now very sturdy. This piece is now quite strong. It's now ready to go back into its original box and we get to the stage of reframing. The original frame is no longer suitable. We did try to see if we could restore some of these very fine lines, but it just was not going to hold up. It's too brittle. So we're replacing it with a Renaissance style frame, which will also complement the age and vintage of this statue. It will fit onto the top and will attach it to the box from the back. And it's actually turned out quite beautifully. Its beauty lost over the decades, the shattered relief of the Divine Infant is restored, repainted and reframed, and now it's ready to return to its faithful owner in Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks for watching.